People forget 1984 and how dominant you were. From New York, John McEnroe. Sometimes you have to remind folks, like, I really was the man. Uh, sometimes I do. Hopefully uh, they have some sort of understanding of tennis history. Here's a refresher. Championship to McEnroe. During his peak in the 80s, McEnroe was ranked number one in both singles and doubles. His 149 career titles are the most in the open era. He won 17 Grand Slams, including three Wimbledon titles. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! Of course, the New York native was also known by the title of Super Brat, thanks to his notorious temper on the court. This guy's an incompetent fool, you know that? That's what he is, that's what he is, right? You would completely lose it and somehow go back onto the court and win. How was that? Man, I'm not quite sure how I did that, but I think that's what infuriated my opponents the most. Not that I lost it, how quickly I gained it back. Yeah. They hated that. How much bigger point you grew it up with? Off the court, McEnroe's personal life was equally dramatic, including partying, drug use, and a six-year roller coaster marriage to Oscar winner Tatum O'Neill. You crossed over into what is our world here at ET when you married Tatum in 86. My kids are the most important things on this earth, and I'll try very hard to make my marriage work. Did you ever do drugs in front of your kids? Was it that kind no. of a thing? No. We weren't that bad. Did it take the focus off of tennis and derail who you could have been? First of all, I just got to say, Tatum was 22 when when Kevin was born, my first son. So that's a lot to ask. You know, I was yeah. expecting, because she won an Academy Award at 10 and had been through a lot with her dad, didn't mean automatically that uh, she could understand what I was going through. You know, I thought I could have my cake and eat it too. I wanted to be a father, but I wanted to be the best player in the world. Unfortunately, post children, I was never the same player. And that drove me crazy. Now, the 63-year-old father of five has found peace. John is currently the narrator of Mindy Kaling's hit comedy series, Never Have I Ever. Why is sports icon John McEnroe narrating this tale? I gotta credit Mindy Kaling. It turned out her father was a big tennis fan and must have talked about me a lot. And as we see in the new Showtime doc, John has been happily remarried to his wife of 25 years, rocker Patty Smythe. This turns into, in the end, a love letter about a man who grew up and found himself. Getting a second chance like a marriage, um, going through a divorce, kids, you know, all these things we can relate to and um, when you come out the other end and feel like you're better because of it, that's, that's a great feeling.